Gaffer, uh, first things first, we have to start with the FA Cup draw and, and what a draw it, it is for the club. Uh, Manchester United here at the DW Stadium in January, just your reaction to that? That's an, uh, it's an incredible draw for us. I think uh, just a massive moment for the club. I think um, there's a lot of history uh, in that competition for us. Um, and then when that draw came out, uh, it's just uh, it's brilliant news for the club. Uh, it'll be a, a brilliant match for a new owner to also see. Yeah, look, it's probably going to be a full house to see the DW uh, full capacity, having an amazing team come to our stadium. So yeah, I'm really. I was really chuffed with the draw, and it also look we went as strong as we could in both uh, in both ties. I really wanted to respect the competition, and um, yeah, we've got an amazing draw. Um, so everyone at the the club's delighted, and uh, but we've got a few games before that first. Obviously, you yourself have a bit of history against Man United as well with that goal. Is that the people mentioning that to you now after we've been drawn against United? Um, just people at the club, really. Uh, like it was a long time ago. Um, yeah, it's a special memory for, uh, yeah, I guess for me, uh, but also for, for the club at that time. It was actually a really important part of the season, that one that historically the club seemed to excel at, uh, not just uh, uh, the seasons that I was here as a player, but before that we had that sort of belief that no matter what the situation, the club was going to uh, succeed in what they wanted to achieve. So, um, But actually since that day of the draw, I think because the schedule's so busy now, it's been quite, uh, actually, it's just been, look, uh, on the Stockport. I think on that day, yeah, there was a few messages and, um, yeah, it's just a, it's a Manchester United incredible incredible club. I love the history of that club. Um, obviously, the um, the history in terms of Sir Alex in that period of time and me being from Aberdeen and the work that he did up there, it's, it's a club I've got a lot of respect for. So, um, uh, yeah, we can't wait for that game, but... Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do before then. And it'll be a fantastic test for, for our players as well, when in, in a young squad to to go up against the likes of Man United and the players they'll bring. Yeah, they've got uh, it will be. It's uh, look that's why we work hard. That's why we uh, like York was a difficult game. Uh, the conditions were difficult as the fans and everyone on TV saw. Um but that's a reward that you get. Um where you get a chance to, to go and test ourselves against some of the best players in their position in the world. Um against such a historic club so that's uh, that's what the players have earned and um, yeah the week leading up to that match will be uh, a really big week for us we have a lot to look forward to in January in the new year don't we and you touched on it earlier about the games ahead and we've got Bolton in the new year as well it's an exciting time to be a winner isn't it yeah I think with the well obviously that Bolton game will get changed uh, because of the, the FA Cup so I think that'll be we don't have an exact date but it'll be uh, further into the uh, the next year but in terms of yeah, this even this next month, uh, we've got some brilliant games um, to come. We've got uh, another competition on Wednesday that we want to try our best to progress through. Um, but that'll be a really hard game against a good Stock Stockport side, um, and just the momentum that we've been building uh, in the league. Uh, I'll try very hard to try and maintain that. Uh, we've had some injuries recently that uh, will stretch the squad, but. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't want to take my foot off the gas. This is. Uh, we've done very well, and really, the, the players have to take the credit for that. But I need to keep pushing them over the next few weeks um, and months, really. You mentioned Stockport, top of League Two. They'll arrive full of confidence, won't they? Yeah, uh, watching them, they play different systems with the ball. Um, they can do. Uh, they can play with different systems without the ball as well. So uh, they've got good players. Um, They've went very, very strong in the league this year, uh, listening to their manager and obviously the league is their priority, but they've done very well in the AFL Cup um, and they're still in the FA Cup. So yeah, very good team. Uh, I don't know the club that well. I know a little bit about the, the owner and he's invested very heavily in them and in fairness, they're doing a really good job. So um, uh, yeah, it's a really big game for us on Wednesday. Um, and we have to go, uh, we have to be as good as what we have in the last couple of months to give ourselves a chance to win it. One familiar face is obviously Nick Powell, who played his football here at one point and obviously was a teammate of yours as well as Callum McManaman. You're looking forward to coming up against him and equally is he the danger man that we need to look out for come Wednesday night? Yeah, I've known, uh, I've known Nick for a long time. Obviously here I, was, I also uh, was a teammate with him at Hull. Um, uh, extremely talented player. Uh, he scored against us for Man United uh, at Old Trafford, so... Uh, Extremely talented player. He played against us with Stoke last year 
and even analysing Stoke um, prior to that game, uh, it's still extremely talented, understands space, um, big, big goal threat, but has a has very good attributes to find that last pass. So um, yeah, he'll be a massive threat in terms of off the field. I think he's uh, I think he's a brilliant person. So um, maybe after the game, it'll be nice to see him. Before the game, we'll definitely have to uh, try and stop their biggest threats, and, and he'll definitely be one of them. You mentioned we've picked up a few injuries. Can you shed any light on some injury news going into Wednesday and looking into Saturday as well? Yeah, no, it was a uh, look. York came at a cost. It's such a, an amazing draw that we have um, uh, with Manchester United, but it did come at a cost. Unfortunately, Martial's ankle injury will will keep him out for a significant period of time. Uh, we won't see him before the new year. Um, We'll get some further scans on that to let us know exactly or give us a rough idea when he'll be back. Um, Tom Pierce will be a lot longer, so Tom will be uh, two or three months, unfortunately. Uh, I think if we're being really positive in the way that Tom is, I think it should be closer to the two months, but I think we have to plan for for the longer period. Um, so, yeah, it came at a cost. Um, really, really disappointing because both players in their own way were really starting to come into form. Tom... Really impressed with actually how he's been defensively 1v1. I know how good he can be on the ball, so uh, it's a it's a big loss for us. And Martial um, in that wide position and the relationship he has with uh, Stephen Humphreys, Jordan Jones, the way they can rotate, it's a big miss for us. Um, but it's also an opportunity for somebody else. Um, the, the message to both of them is no matter how long they are out, just make sure that when they come back, they're in even better condition than what they are now. Talk about an opportunity and if we win Wednesday, we're potentially only three victories away from, from a Wembley appearance. So is that something, you know, is the full focus and you've always said you want to take this competition seriously and that's no different Wednesday? Yeah, it's no different Wednesday. It's uh, whether we've changed the team or not or changed certain positions, like we will have to just because of the injuries. But I don't I don't foresee... Um, I'll make that decision. Um, I'll give them to the last moment. So that'll be tomorrow. I'll make the final decision. But uh, uh, how we prepare uh, my own... Um, the way that I prepare, uh, the way that I speak to the players is no different, um, whether it's an EFL game, FA Cup or league. So we'll be going all out to try and try and give ourselves the best uh, chance to win this game. I think the Wembley appearance uh, or really thinking that far ahead is it's impossible. Um, we have to take Stockport as an individual game. And I maybe learned that lesson as well early in the season. We had a really... Uh, we had a really early sort of goal in terms of trying to get past minus points. At the moment, uh, just because of that um, that situation, uh, I'm game to game at the moment. Um, let's try and beat Stockport. Once we've got through that, we can then uh, then we'll be full focus on Lincoln. So um, very much game to game, but we have taken every competition seriously. I can't guarantee wins. Uh, I'll try my best to to give them that though.